everyone. We're gonna get started here in just a few minutes. Um, for morning, I am playing music on my laptop, but it's at about 13%. So I don't know if it's going to last or not. So my music might poop out on me um, in a little bit, but we'll see. Um, so you may want to put on some music of your own if you want to continue just being relaxed. Um, we'll wait a few more moments as Instagram kind of tells you guys that I am going live. As you can see here, I look a little different. Um, if you've been following along and doing um, these self-massage classes with me, usually I'm at a desk or a table, but today I wanted to do something on the floor. So um, I think if you can be on the floor, that would be great because I wanna try to end this session laying down on the ground. Um, you may wanna find a pillow uh, or a blanket to put underneath your bum so that you're a little lifted and raised. You'll feel a little bit more supported. Um, you can also, if you want, put a, a blanket or something underneath the ankles just for some extra support. I'll wait another moment here to see if anybody else jumps on. Um, so just to let you know, so this month is February. February, of course, is the month of love. Um, and oftentimes, you know, we're showing other people, you know, that we love them. Um, and I wanted to make sure that you're taking care of yourself. So today's session, we're gonna show ourselves some love. Um, that's kind of what this meditation is geared towards. Uh, as you can see in the description, it's going to be more of a full body relaxation. So we're not really focusing on specific areas or pain. So it's going to be a really just relaxing um, type of session. So with that said, we'll go ahead and get started. Again, uh, if you're just hopping on, my music might poop out on me because my computer's about to die. Uh, so you might want to put on your own music. We're also going to be on the floor, so you might want to find a pillow or a blanket or something to um, put underneath your bottom so that you're a little lifted and raised and a little bit more comfortable. So with that said, uh, I'll give you a second here to, to grab those things if you'd like. So again, music if you need, and then something to sit on, and we'll begin. So you want to start in just this easy seat, maybe cross-legged. If this uh, is too much on the knees, then you can, you know, splay the legs out. That's completely fine. You just want to be comfortable. Sit up straight, elongate that spine. Maybe close the eyes here. Take a few cleansing breaths in through the nose out through the mouth. We're just going to begin our meditation here, allowing our bodies to relax, allowing our minds to become calm. And today we honor love through the experience of gratitude, through the expression of our hearts. And together we will have a peaceful experience that lifts your spirit and relaxes your body and opens your heart. So let's breathe into this piece here. You can place hands at heart center if that feels comfortable. Again, close those eyes. And we're gonna take a counted breath in. We breathe in for a count of four, three, two, one. And we breathe out four, three, two, one. We'll try that again. We breathe in for a count of four, three, two, one, and we breathe out, four, three, two, one. Beautiful, you can release the hands, and we're gonna warm up the body here with a gentle neck stretch. So if you're sitting on a chair, let's anchor that hand down onto the bottom of the chair, um, or you can sit on the hand, or if you're sitting on a pillow, you can hold on to that pillow. So whatever hand feels comfortable, you'll start with. Take the other hand to the top of the head, and you're just going to gently guide that ear down to the shoulder for a nice deep stretch here. If this feels good, you can stay here. If you want to try something a little different, you can roll that head forward, moving slowly, maybe roll the head back, breathing deep into the belly here, breathing into the side of the neck. Feeling that stretch deepen ever so slightly. And we 
gently release the hands and we're going to switch. So we'll take that other hand and anchor that in. So again, if you are sitting in a chair, you can hold on to the bottom of the chair. You can sit on your hand if that feels comfortable or you can hold on to the bottom of that pillow. Take the other hand to the top of the head. Gently guide that ear towards the opposite shoulder. And we can rest here, breathing into the neck, into the belly. And then you can also, if you want to, maybe roll that head forward, getting all the side, all the different scalene muscles here, roll it back, moving slowly, breathing deep, feeling that neck release a little bit deeper into that stretch, closing the eyes, and then gently releasing the head, coming back to a neutral position. And as you center yourself here, breathing deeply, maybe begin to feel your body relax as you let the thoughts and the concerns of your day just kind of melt away. Let's go ahead and place hands right at the base of the collarbone, one on top of the other. Tag a little bit of weight here into the elbows. And we're going to send our gaze up towards the sky as we take a breath in, sending that gaze up, tagging weight into the elbows. You should feel a nice stretch in the front of the neck here. Breathing deep into the belly. If it feels comfortable for you, maybe you send your gaze over towards the right, feeling that stretch more on the left side of the neck. And switch that up, maybe looking towards the left. Again, feeling that stretch into the right side of the neck. Remember to tag weight in the elbows. Maybe you come back center, breathing deep. <sighs> Gently releasing the hands, coming back to that neutral position. Once again, closing the eyes, breathing in through the nose and breathing out through the mouth. <sighs> Just feeling that love flowing through you, through your body, feeling strength, feeling warmth. Go ahead, you can slowly open the eyes. We're gonna move into that bit of self-massage here. So we're gonna start with the scalp, with the head, okay? We're gonna take open palms and just on the head, just apply some compression, a little bit of pressure all throughout that scalp, kind of feeling for any areas of sensitivity or tension. And then when you're ready, you're gonna take fingertips, soft fingertips, and really get underneath the hair here if you have a lot of hair like me. And you're just gonna create small circles, okay, all throughout the scalp. Close the eyes, allow yourself to enjoy this bit of self-massage you're providing for yourself. Remembering to breathe here. If you find spots that maybe feel a little sore or tender or that you want to work more deeply on, feel free to do that. You can stay there for as long as you like. Just remember to get all, all the different areas of the head and the scalp. Maybe you take your counted breath in, breathing in for that count of four, three, two, one, and breathing out four, three, two, and one. From here, let's finish with that open palm compression. Beautiful. You can gently release the hands. Now we're gonna do a little bit of compression into the neck. So you're just gonna take an open hand and you're gonna place that behind your neck. So my hand is like this. We're just gonna gently squeeze that neck, okay? Using as much pressure as feels comfortable for you. Shouldn't feel painful. This compression is really stabilizing. It feels nice, it's nurturing. And you're just, Taking notice of these different spots that maybe need a little bit of extra love. Let's go ahead and switch hands. So now the other hand kind of comes upside down and you're gently gonna just squeeze the back of the neck here. 
breathing deeply into the belly. Once again, taking notice different areas of tension that might need a little bit of extra work, a little bit of extra love. And just move slowly. If you feel like you're moving kind of quickly, I want you to slow, kind of think half speed. So slow that down. Remember to breathe into the belly if you need to go back to that counted breath, breathing in for four, breathing out for four. Feel free to do that. We're going to switch hands again, but this time let's use our fingertips. Okay, you can create like we did on the scalp, we can create those small circles just right alongside of the spine, not on top of the spine, but if you imagine your C-spine here, all the musculature that runs on either side, kind of press into that muscle tissue using as much pressure as feels comfortable for you, creating those small circles. You can even work into um, the scalp. You'll feel that little ridge at the back of your head right into that occipital ridge area. You can work into that spot creating those circles. If you want to just press into that spot, you can do that. You can also press into those areas of tension and create movement with your head and neck. So maybe you try looking left to right. Maybe you look up and down. Just enjoying this bit of self-massage you're providing yourself. And then when you're ready, let's switch hands. So again, with soft fingertips, you're going to press into those areas that need little bit of extra love. You can hold pressure if that feels good. You can create movement looking left to right, up and down, or any other movement that feels good for you. I can't see you, so make whatever movement you want to try if you want to. And remember, you can also work into that occipital ridge, that little ridge right underneath <clears throat> the skull here. Remember your breath. Maybe you breathe in for that count of four, three, two, one, and out four, three, two, one. Allowing your body, that nervous system to relax. Beautiful, let's go ahead and release. And let's place hands at, again, at heart center, right on top of the chest. Close the eyes here. We're going to take our deep breath in, our counted breath, breathing in for four, three, two, one, and out four, three, two, one. Now from here, we're going to do a little topotement on our pecs into our anterior deltoid, okay? So just take soft fingertips. We're just going to do some light tapping here, okay, all the way from sternum or the middle of the chest to the fronts of that shoulder, getting the blood flow towards this area, and it's not hard, you're not hitting, it's just a light tapping, and then when you're ready, we'll move to the other side, from sternum all the way to front of that deltoid, front of that shoulder. Maybe take notice of any spots that might need a little bit of extra work. And then when you're ready, we're gonna take finger pressure here and just create small circles. It's right underneath that collarbone. Ladies, don't go too far down into the breast tissue because that can be uncomfortable. Just some circles all the way to the fronts of the shoulder. If you find a spot that maybe needs some extra work, feel free to stay there. What I'm doing may look a little different than what you're doing, and that is perfectly fine. We have different bodies, different aches and pains. So do what feels best for you. If you want to add in movement here as you press into that muscle tissue, you can bring that arm up and down. You can bring the arm forward and backward. Maybe you do a snow angel type of a movement. Again, try these different things. You can do an internal rotation, an external rotation. Just get creative here. And also depending where you're at on that pec muscle or on that anterior deltoid muscle will kind of dictate what movements feel best for you. 
Remember your breath here as well. And then when you're ready, we'll move to the opposite side. So again, just kind of warming up that tissue, starting from sternum all the way to the front of the shoulder. Gentle circles here, taking notice of any spots that feel tight or uncomfortable. This is such a wonderful area to work, especially with a lot of what we do nowadays. You know, I think I have um, a nursing mother on here. So like you're in this forward position, we wanna really try to open that chest. If you're at a computer a lot, if you drive a lot, all these different things we do put us puts us into this kind of internally rotated position. So we need to try to open up this chest a little bit. Once again, if you find that spot that you wanna spend extra time on, feel free, maybe press into it. If you wanna get creative and add in your movement. So again, you can do that snow angel movement if that feels good. You can bring the arm just straight up and straight down. Maybe you bring the arm forward and backward. You can even do a cactus arm and swinging the hand down. Ooh, got a little tense there for me. Once again, I may be doing something completely different than you, and that is perfectly fine. Just close the eyes here, move how you see fit. Just enjoy this bit of touch you're giving yourself. Breathing deep. Let's go ahead and shake out the arms and hands. Once again, let's place hands at heart center. We'll take our counted breath in, breathing in for four, three, two, one, and out four, three, two, one. We'll move into a bit of compression into the arms. So it's with an open palm here. I'm just gonna gently begin to squeeze uh, the arm here. You can work from tricep to bicep or the back of the arm to the front of the arm making sure to get that whole area, just gentle squeezing here. Nothing too deep or too hard, should feel good. You can even do a little bit of what we call petrissage, so it's almost like kneading the dough here. Not that your arms are doughy. And then we can work down into that forearm, okay? Just gentle squeezing might notice your fingers curl up a little bit. That's perfectly normal. Don't forget to get the <clears throat> inside of the forearm. Once again, if you want to add movement, I like to kind of grip or grab onto my forearm and then either move the fingers or bring the hand up and down and up and down and you can work that all the way down your forearm. Moving slowly, breathing deeply. You can also pronate and supinate the hand here as you grip into those flexors and extensors to kind of create space between that muscle tissue here. And shake out that hand. And we'll go into the other side. So again, open palm. Just gonna begin to do some slight compression into the tricep or the back of the arm, and then into the bicep or the front of the, the arm here. You wanna move into that petrissage. So again, just kind of fluffing up that muscle tissue. If that feels good for you, you can do that. And then when you're ready, you can work down into the forearm. Okay, again, gentle compression, just gentle squeezing here. So again, you might feel those fingertips kind of move as you squeeze that muscle tissue of the flexors and extensors. And then if you wanna add that movement like we did with the other arm, <clears throat> excuse me, grip the, the forearm and you can move the fingers up and put them down. See how that intensifies that feeling. You're just working all the way down the forearm here. Maybe you wanna pronate and supinate the 
arm. You can do that as well. If you like just the squeezing and that compression, you can do that too. That's perfectly fine. Just move slowly, breathe deeply, and just enjoy this. Maybe close the eyes. Beautiful. Shake out that hand. Now we're going to move into a little bit of hand massage here. So just taking a, a pretty straight thumb, you're just going to work, maybe create little circles here into the muscle tissue of the hand, into that thenar eminence, that big meaty part of the thumb that feels so good. Just press into that muscle tissue if that feels good. You can also, I like to work in between the bones of the fingers, just kind of gliding that thumb through that area. Taking notice of any spots that maybe feel a little tender, excuse me, or sensitive. working to release that. Go ahead and do some finger compression and pulls. So you're just holding on with your forefinger and your thumb of the opposite hand. Just kind of squeezing and compressing each finger all the way from knuckle to the tip of the finger. all five fingers here. And let's work into the other side. So again, with kind of that straight thumb, just gentle circles into that big meaty part of your opposite thumb area. You can do circles, you can glide or slide through that area if you want to glide through um, the bones of the fingers, sometimes that feels really nice. And just moving as uh, how it feels best for you. If there's a spot you want to spend a lot of time on, you can absolutely do that. And then when you're ready, again, we'll get our forefinger and our thumb and we're just going to start grab onto our opposite uh, finger here from knuckle to for or to tip of the finger we're just going to squeeze all the way down working each finger moving slowly breathing deeply if you want to close the eyes if that feels good feel free to do that maybe you breathe in for your count of four three two, one, and out, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. I'm gonna do a little stretch for the hands and the forearms. So we're gonna put our hand out like we're saying, stop, okay? You're gonna take your opposite hand and just gently guide those fingertips back. You don't wanna, you know, jam yourself here. So just move slowly till you feel a nice stretch. Maybe send the elbow crease, if you can see, up towards the sky. Breathing deep here for a few moments. If you don't have the thumb, we can do the thumb, bringing that back. If this is causing any pain at all in the wrist or the hand, maybe don't pull as hard or maybe skip this. Let's go ahead and switch to the other side. So again, like we're saying stop, we pull gently back on the fingers, sending the elbow crease up towards the sky. Breathing deep here into that stretch, opening up the forearm. Let's go ahead and do the thumb now. Pulling that back gently. Now let's get the tops of the forearm. So I'm going to flip the hand down. Be very careful here. And again, just gently pull the hand and fingertips back. You can rotate the elbow crease up towards the sky. You'll get a little bit of a deeper stretch here. Gently release. We'll do the other side. Hand down. Gently pull those fingertips back. Rotate that elbow crease up towards the sky. And breathe. Beautiful. 
beautiful. Let's go ahead and gently release. Um, the next thing we're gonna do is move into a cat cow. So you may have to move your um, your pillow out from under you. And you're going to go to your hands and to your knees. So you want your knees underneath your hip points and you want your hands underneath your shoulders. And you're going to, as you rest here, take a few breaths in this neutral position. Just feel that heart opening up as you send yourself some silent love, silent thank you. Let's begin to drop the belly, sending the gaze up towards the sky. Breathe deep here, and then we're going to begin to arch and round the spine, sending the navel up towards the spine, chin to chest. You want to move a little bit here. We're just gently warming up the spine. Deep breath. And then we do the opposite again, arching. And just kind of move in your own time here. Continuing this cat-cow movement, dropping the belly, breathing in. And then rounding the spine, releasing the breath. And just hold yourself with love here as you make this slow movement. Hold yourself with patience, with compassion. Make these movements really intentional. And then when you're ready, we'll move back to that neutral spine and back onto our or back into our seated position here. We'll work a little bit into our legs into our quads. So for this, we're gonna do a little bit of effleurage. So just with soft open palms here, we'll start on one leg. And you can really dig in with the heel of your hand. You wanna go all the way around the knee, okay? Just moving slowly. If you wanna move into that petrissage or that kneading the dough type of movement, you can do that here as well. Breathing deep, moving slowly. From here, let's begin to kind of um, compress and squeeze into the calves, okay? If you are pregnant or expecting, just be very gentle here, okay? Not a lot of pressure. And then we'll work into the other side. So again, really using the heel of the hand to dig into that muscle tissue, working all the way around the kneecap. Breathing deep, maybe closing the eyes and just enjoying this bit of self-massage. want to go into that petrissage movement kind of kneading the dough into those different spots of the quad or the upper leg here feel free and then we begin to gently squeeze the calf so again not too hard beautiful let's go ahead and come off of that from here, you may want to get into a butterfly type of position because we're going to be working into the feet. Oh, it's a little hard for you to see. Um, so my feet are together here, and we're just going to use gentle thumbs, gentle finger pressure, and just begin to knead those thumbs into this, the arches of the feet. Moving slowly, if you find a spot that might, you know, need some extra work, maybe you press into it. Use your fingertips, that feels good. Just breathe here, maybe close the eyes. As you work into this area, let's finish up just gently squeezing the feet, the ankles, up the calves. From here, um, if you have the ability to, why don't you go ahead and lay down um, face up, okay? 
If you're sitting on a pillow or a blanket, you can put that underneath the knees. Maybe bring those shoulder blades underneath the rib cage, palms up, laying down. I'm gonna stay seated here so that you can see me. Um, but we just wanna be in this nice position. Um, if you can't lay down, if you're not in a, a place that you can lay down, that's perfectly fine. You can stay seated. Maybe bring the, the hands to the lap. Just close the eyes here as we finish up, breathing deeply, adjusting into this position, just feeling completely relaxed. Let's take that deep counted breath in, breathing in for four, three, two, one, and out four, three, two, one. And as you continue this breath, just begin to feel gratitude for the time that you've allowed yourself to have today. We're going to end our meditation with a loving kindness practice. This whole time we've, you know, really focused on loving ourselves. And this time I want um, to just show somebody else that you love a little bit, uh, should send them a little bit of love. So we'll end with this loving kindness practice. So what I want you to do is picture somebody who you love or maybe somebody who's needing that that extra bit of love um, picture their face their smile picture their laugh and just imagine all of the goodness that they've given you imagine them in your mind and imagine that you're speaking to this person and i want you to repeat after me you can do this silently or out loud whatever feels comfortable to you just say to them, may you be well, may you be happy, may you be peaceful, and may you be loved. Let's do that one more time, imagining this person. And just repeat after me, may you be well, may you be happy, may you be peaceful, and may you be loved. Let's take another deep breath here, our final breath for a count of four, three, two, one, and out four, three, two, one. Now you can stay here resting if you like, or you can allow your thoughts to come gently back to your mind. I want to thank you for our time here together, and may you be well, may you be happy, May you be peaceful and may you be loved. Thank you again. I'll stay on for a few moments if you have any questions um, on what we worked on or anything else. Um, or if you wanna just sit, sit and relax, that's perfectly fine. Um, but if you do have questions, feel free to type them in. And as I give you a few moments to do that, um, I'll let you know um, just a couple things I have coming up. So. If this is your first time joining me every month, I do a Wellness Wednesday. So um, the first Wednesday of every month, I do this free self-massage class, uh, and I also save it to my IGTV and YouTube and Facebook, so you can always go back to look at cl past classes if you want to do that. Um, another thing that I have coming up, uh, every month I do these expert interviews where I talk with the different body workers. Um, you know, I've had a PT or a physical therapist on. Um, last month I had uh, a, a fitness professional on. And this month I'm going to be talking with Adrienne Ortega of Alma Acupuncture. So she's a licensed acupuncturist. Uh, and that is going to be on Monday the 15th at 10 30 a.m. if I'm not mistaken. I haven't posted about it yet, but uh, or 10 a.m. I don't know. I forget the time, but I'll post it uh, later on uh, next week. So you'll be able to see that, but feel free to join me for that and learn a little bit about acupuncture. But if you don't have any questions, then I am going to go get lunch before my next appointment. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Feel free to come back to this uh, anytime this month when you're feeling that you need just a little bit of, of self-care. Hopefully you enjoyed it and feel free to save it and share it with friends. All right, guys, have a wonderful day and a happy February. Bye.